Just trust. Just trust. What's happening, beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike, and welcome back to the journey where I'm building different squads. We progress through divisional play, get involved in some tournaments, and as always, I'm dropping feedback on which players really rise to the occasion and other guys that kind of drop the ball before we get into all the FIFA goodness. If you guys need ultimate team coins, UT coins for you down below in the description, make sure to use the code mics 9 M-I-C-H-S-0-9 in order to get an additional 5% off on every single purchase. Ah, for today, today my friends, we have the hardest working affordable squad. Everyone's got high, high work rates. We got full chemistry, under 30,000 coins. And I'm going to get into some tournament matches. And if we can smash 700 to 800 likes on this video, it tells me you're enjoying the content to keep pushing out squad builders, to keep coming with that razzle dazzle. And I've been working on a tutorial. I know it's been a minute as we get into match number one. And I actually have an interesting question for everyone today is look at the squad I'm up against. All those blues. He's got Ebra up front. Oh, that is not good. As Ramirez gets to working with those step overs. And I want to know what you guys think are the three major reasons people lose games or that you lose games. Because I believe that it's mistakes you make when you gift goals to your opposition. Uh, that's when trouble's going to happen as he hits me with a nice little Ronaldo chop. I didn't see that coming at all. He hadn't done any skill moves. 25th minute. And uh, Cabela opens up his body and smashes that home. But I think number one is mistakes. If you make a bunch of those, you're going to lose games. Number two is composure. Whether it's on the defensive end when you win the ball and you don't know what to do with it or it's when you're in 1v1 situations and you're just not finishing. You have to finish in FIFA, otherwise you will be punished. Ooh, we get a little bit lucky there. He bangs down the post just before halftime. It's 1-1. One to one. And it's actually really close, first half. And number three for me is defense because a lot of matches are going to be ugly. It's not going to be a beautiful game as we get a rebound by Janino. Speaking of ugly gameplay there. That was nothing out of the textbook that's going to make you jump out of your seat. But those are the types of goals that you're going to have to score. And that's kind of my three. And I'd like to know what you guys are thinking. Um, I'd also like you guys to drop a comment and let me know, what do you think is the best position for a high, high work rate player? Uh, I think that it's actually a CDM role. I really enjoy using Ramirez as a CDM, and he's got those high, high work rates. I've had a lot of fun playing around with Rooney this year as well. Uh, if you have him as a, some sort of center mid, maybe a cam, he can get involved in the attack. He kind of floats about. Another good squad. He had the inform Podolski up front in game number two. And look at Ramirez. And unfortunately, I am using Ramirez as a cam. And he's always on the ball. Right places, right time. He zooms speed. But he finishes like a CDM. I can't believe that doesn't go in. Nice little foot save. And check's not even done. Look at that. Look at that. You cannot complain. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Uh, nil, nil and a half. I had the better run of the first half. But... As I was talking about with composure and finishing, it wasn't there for me. And it keeps falling to Ramirez. And I, I love everything he does outside of his shot. I've never been very good at goal scoring uh, with Ramirez this year. We drop it off sweaty, 90th minute, 1-0. We got the lead. We're going to take that to the bank. And let's talk about the squad a little bit. So in goal, we have uh, Pantililamon. Pantilamon. God, I can't speak. Uh, he's actually a huge goalkeeper. And I didn't feel like using Hugo Lloris. That was another option for me. Uh, I've had a lot of back and forth uh, situations with Lloris this year, so I wanted to mix it up, and I thought that he played really well. He's like 6'7", 6'8", one of the largest goalkeepers in the game, uh, and I definitely recommend trying him out if you're building a silver squad. Uh, he only cost me a couple thousand coins, so it's not like he's out of the price range, and this is a disaster. Anytime you make a mistake with your goalkeeper, you're going to be punished, and I cannot believe that was a penalty kick. I cannot believe that was a penalty kick, but uh, we're down 1-0 to start the game. I've got Botello. Patelho, Patello. I can't speak today. I'm struggling. As my left back, um, I thought he was okay. I'm glad that I had some additional pace there as we get the equalizer from a corner kick uh, to match up with Lucio because ah, Lucio's getting a little bit older and EA has definitely cut his pace significantly. Here's my man Ramirez and he flips it right over the right over the top of the the crossbar and that's that's the same story with him. Right place, right time, but I just can't score. And this is why I don't like Casillas. You guys ask me all the time, why are you not using Casillas? Why do you not give him all these rating points? And that's because Welbeck should not score this goal. That's Casillas' fault for not being able to get a hand on that. And Petr Cech won't let that happen. Uh, Diego Lopez from the same league won't let that happen. Neuer won't let that happen. Adler won't let that happen. And that's why... Casillas is not that impressive, especially for an 86 overall as we give up another equalizer. Ah, I've also got uh, Kitty Kish. 
the Romanian center back. That's how I teamed up uh, him with uh, the goalkeeper. We've got Zabaleta as the right back. As Here we go. We see a mistake. As I was saying, mistakes, win and lose matches often in FIFA. And that's what builds consistency. Uh, the less mistakes you make, the better. Plain and simple. I think that's in anything in life. Uh, you're probably going to have a better final produ product if you don't have a, uh, a lot of mistakes. As we get into the final, the latency is kind of suspect. But hey, it's hard to find matches sometimes in the final. And this guy kept getting matched up with me. Let's do it. Jovicic, Hazard, and Nani up front. That is a deadly 4-3-3. And, oh, man, he was all over the YOLO deep balls. I start off really poorly, a little bit unlucky, but Marcel bursts through, and there we go. The crossbar comes to the rescue. Uh, I've got Gerard as well as Elias as uh, my CDMs. I love Gerard this year. Uh, I think he's got one of the easiest deep shots to go ahead and nail it from about 30, 30 plus. Uh, he's going to make things happen. Uh, 45th minute, a little bit of a lucky bounce. Bounce comes the Welbeck. He provides. And on those back post headers, a lot of times the fullbacks will lose out versus a striker, versus a cam, even a, a tall CDM that might have got forward. And you can take you can take leads. You can make things happen. Uh, a little more consistent than people would uh, expect. I've got Ramirez as a cam. And as I've stated, he did absolutely every, everything for me as a toe with a nice finish. He brought in a super sub at half. And... Uh, he, he did the job. He did the job. That outside of the boot kind of dipping a shot or a little bit of swerve. And keepers don't seem to deal with it very well. But, yeah, Ramirez did everything but score. He's just not a goal scorer. And that's the story of Ramirez. And here he goes on the ball. He's burning. A little bit sweaty. And Janino with the finish. The go-ahead. We needed that in the final. 118th minute. I did not want to go to penalty kicks. Um, I've got Rooney as well as Janino as uh, my other two cams. I'm just a huge fan of using the Janino, so any chance that I get to put him into a squad, I'm just a fanboy of him in general. If you guys are not up on your on your football knowledge, go look at Janino's free kicks and tell me that's not a glorious thing, as we do win the final. 2,000 coins, and I'm feeling gratified. Uh, and then we had Welbeck up front, and he's my marquee player. I mean, Welbeck has been fantastic every time I've used him in FIFA 14. And I know he's a 78 overall, but he's got the pace. He's got the size. He just scores a lot of goals. We had four goals and an assist with him. Rooney had three goals and two assists. Both of them were the most influential attackers. Pros. I thought that the defense looked great. The two CDMs sitting back. And a high, high work rates. A lot of times people send, tend to chase back more so than chase forward or get forward quickly, at least in my opinion. Uh, it was really easy to predict my opposition in this formation. Uh, long shots on point. You could take them from anywhere. Unfortunately, you don't have great counterattacking speed. And I felt like there weren't very many numbers getting forward when I finally got the opportunity. I had to build up. I had to hold up the play a lot more than I would have liked. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter at MikeSunanUSA. And I have a lot more content coming for you ASAP, ASAP.